Hello, hi everyone. In this video, I'll talk about a specific energy and a specific energy curve. The specific energy curve and how this being generated and being plotted. I will try in this example to use a different approach of how to use numbers to demonstrate how this curve is plotted. I will plot it a curve as such. I will assume that the volume of the water through the channel is constant and the geometry the channel width is constant as well so i will change the water stage and water depth all the way along i'll assume that we're looking at the specific point at the canal and also mind that the channel slope is almost flat so that we do not have any factors of alpha multiplied to the uh, kinetic term so i'll assume that we have 15 meter cube per second for the discharge of the channel and i've selected this to be 70 samples or 70 measurements and the canal width as you can tell is 1.5 meter and this is all the way down to the 70 measurements and now for the water stage is started at one meter and i'll add 0.1 meter all the way down so the cross-sectional area is just multiplying those two values the widths and the depths to get the cross-section area for all the 70 measurements and now to to the energy i got that that one ready on another sheet i just copied it and pasted it here to work out the energy for all these uh, samples so looking at this equation as we can see that is consists of two terms the first one is a potential energy and the second one is a kinetic energy term v square over 2g to plot the energy term and the stage term i just needed to i'm doing nothing but copying over these values onto this column so i can plot it on this diagram here as you can see the curve is being plotted And now from this curve, as you can see that each value of the energy got two value of depth. For example, a four meter of energy got, for example, 1.6. And again, four meter got almost 3.6. Let's look at this value in the table. Four meter got 1.4 is 1.4 and again another four meter this this is the the closest one is almost four meter or 3.7 meter again uh, from this curve we can work out the critical energy or the the minimum or the lowest energy in the system and the corresponding depths of this energy is uh, called the critical depths so the critical depths is the depths at which the flow or the water flowing with the lowest energy ever in the system so this can be worked out by using min function so i use min function to work out and to point out the energy the critical energy which is 3.25 and the corresponding value is 2.2 2.2 these values now being taken from the curve and being taken from the numbers on the table but there another approach that you can where you can use formulas and equation to find out the critical depths i'm not going to look at the critical energy although it has its own 
formula and equation, but I will look at the critical depth equation. Let's look at this. At this from this equation, you can work out the critical depth of this channel, just substituting the discharge value and the width value. So 15 and 1.5, so that you can get 2.2. As you can see that those two values are identical. That means our example is quite realistic. Now we can use different values and different different numbers, but make sure that these numbers are realistic. You cannot, for example, put the volume of a hundred meter in a, a such a small cross section. You got to increase the area. You got to increase at least one value of these of the these two variables. Now let's look at another sort of context and let's think about what if we increase the the discharge and the volume of the water in the channel by doubling it so 30 make it 30 instead of 15 now as you can see now the the, the curve is being shifted to the right that means you have added some energy to the system so now the minimum energy is no longer the critical energy is no longer 3.25 now it got to be 5.16 and let's decrease it from 15 or from 30 make it 10 for example now now it's 10 now the energy is no is 2 point is, is no 3.25 it's 2.48 so the curve is shifted to the left so this is how the cave is generated using a realistic uh, sort of example and sort of numbers. And this is how uh, this cave is explained in a better way. Uh, hopefully that you enjoyed this video and thank you for your watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.